Hello and welcome to an interesting new episode of the One Patch Method. I am indeed wearing a patch, so let's get into it. I'm trying something different with the visuals. Uh, it's, there's the cursor, mouse cursor. See if this works. This is Jeff Minter's colour space, and it seems to be working so far. Uh, what do you press now? You get that lovely keyboard click sound. So today we will be talking about how to quit smoking. Oh, you have to click. Uh, that's good. So I've got this little tiny little dot of a mouse pointer and I can click. And right click doesn't. Right click seems to get rid of stuff. No, it doesn't. Right click doesn't do anything. As far as I can tell, maybe it does. Uh, so anyway, that's very nice, isn't it? Very pretty. Uh, where was I? So I put on a patch. I've got a big glass of milk or glass of milk if you're from the south. Um, I had my final cigarette and now I'm feeling depressed because I got no cigarettes. I don't want any cigarettes. I'm just going to have to battle through these feelings of depression, I think, without the nicotine, without the various chemicals in the tobacco. I once said to a, I once said to a pharmacist, what are the psychoactive so psychoactive means active on your brain what are the psychoactive ingredients of tobacco other than obviously the the main one nicotine oh dear burpee burpee nicotine other than nicotine but she doesn't know but maybe they contain all sorts you don't know what what they put in these tobacco products uh, and it's if you feel depressed afterwards, maybe that's because the cigarettes and the tobacco contain antidepressants. Who knows? So maybe it's a good thing to be depressed for a little bit, as long as it doesn't go too far. Uh, a little bit of depression is part of life, and we want to experience the full gamut, is that the right word, the full spectrum of human experiences and emotions available whereas people who smoke all the time have a very limited view view of the world uh, this is something i'm quite passionate about because i take a, an, an antipsychotic uh, and it limits your experience of normal life so you don't want to be doing that further by smoking and uh, the problem is that smoking is so addictive and uh, you just want it and want it. And uh, that's the key thing is to not have it. I'm going to fiddle around with this mouse pointer. Look at the pretty colours. I'm doing swirly whirlies. Surely there's something else. What if I press space? No, it stays the same. What if I hold down control? Is that different colours? What if I press different things? Oh, it's changed now. I pressed a few keys. What if I press R? So R makes it into a bigger square thingy. That's all right. C. No, C does nothing. All these buttons doing so. Oh, what have I pressed? I pressed seven, I think. And it's gone into a spaceship. Eight. Anyway, 
the, the hardest thing for me is not the night time is when I can quit, but it's the mornings when I wake up feeling awful. But tomorrow I'm just going to have a cup of coffee and maybe put a patch on. Maybe it'll be the two patch method. And I'll try and do some exercise and I'll try and read the paper. I'll go to the shops. I'll do a few things. There's no need for smoking. And if you find that you're bored when you're, sm when you're without smoking, well, smoking takes up, what, five minutes at a time. And if you're doing that 10 or 20 times, that's a lot of time of your day that you've got extra. So it's like a bonus to be bored. You didn't have the luxury of having time to be bored when you were smoking. So I think I'll leave it there for today. Thanks for watching. Good luck.